kitchen and looking. Damn. I'm so glad we're all here together. Thank you for inviting mom and yeah, having us all together. I was pleasantly surprised that Mendici wanted to have a family day out with the kids and my mom. Do you mind if I take your mom to Stella for one second? Oh, OK. One thing about talking to people, parents, you know, I'm far from perfect. They want somebody like a doctor, a lawyer, a PhD. They want a perfect guy. And I just always, you know, feel that, you know, I'm not maybe good enough or perfect. You know, me and your daughter been like off and on for like a few years now. I really, you know, want to move forward in our relationship. I want to, it ain't no off no more. So There's never going to be an off. You know, I love her. I know she loves me. We have like plans on being together for like ever. Okay. So, you know, I, I think that it's, you know, it's uh, time for me to step up and um, marry your daughter. I want to see if it was okay if, if I, um, you know, if I ran it by you first. Well, you guys have already started a family, and so, I mean, you certainly have my approval to marry my daughter if, if you want it. The truth of the matter is that I don't know you all that well, and I, I'd like to know you better. You know, I know you're a little shy, you don't talk a whole lot, so it's, it's harder to really get to know you. I know you go to church on five times out the week, so, you know, when you around a church room and five times out the week, you know, it's like, you know, when, you, when you're around, it's just like, you know, sit still. Yeah, like, sit still. OK, attention. Sister Laura's in the house. Yeah, she sit yeah, back. Yeah. She brought Brother Gary with her. Right, right, back. right. And, I don't, and then she got all the other sisters coming to the house, need, too. Yeah, like, it's like having a whole church choir right there in your living room. See, now we having a real conversation. <laughs> right. So I'd be, like, scared that you're going to, like, judge me or misjudge me for my, my past or what I've been through or whatever the case may be. I could never judge you because I have a prior life that wasn't in the church. So we can't sit around judging other people like we're better when we've done the same things, basically. To see her open up made me open up. She bend a little, crack jokes and this and that. So I'm like, oh, OK, cool, she's down. She's one of the homies. When Yandy and I had a conversation the other day and we talked about situations happen, you know, you're going to have to weather some storms, some tough things. Now, are you that man that will weather the storm when things are hard? Or when she's, what she said to me, when she's old and ugly, when she's bald, are you still gonna be that one that's gonna look at her and gonna love her the way she is? And so that truly is what love is, and that's what's important. I put my pride to the side, and like, yo, whatever it takes, I'm gonna get it done. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this right. Wonderful. All right.